yeah. need to take my head off. Well, you can take your head off if you like. I ain't got no good haircut, but... Uh, I, think, I think you look just fine. You're in the Special Forces. Yeah. And... I fought with the Special Forces in Vietnam. You fought with the Special Forces. Yeah. And what was that like? You, you were young. Did you know what you were getting into? Did I know what? Did you know uh, what you were getting into, what was happening? Did, did you know? No, what happened was we was in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. We got like, we wanted to go to Germany, right? Yeah. But they tell me how the German girls teach you. We wanted to go to Germany because in World War II, the big way one distinguished themselves in Germany in World War II. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to go to Germany. But we took the cold weather train and everything. But then when we got ready to go, we packed up all our stuff and they selected us to serve with the VA one. To serve where? They selected our unit to serve with the VA one in Vietnam, so we went to Vietnam. They selected your unit to serve in Vietnam. Yeah, I was, it was oh. 1967, oh. 1968. And they selected us to serve with them. And we got over there and put us in special forces barracks and stuff. The rest of them had run out in, 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 the, in the bush, you know. And we would, they trained us for like four months inside the uh, the unit, right? And then they sent us to the field for the next eight months. We was out in the field. We ain't seen the barracks except one or two times. You didn't see the barracks except for like one or two we times. We didn't even come in but one or two times. We'd come in one day, be out the next day. Wow. But we spent eight years, maybe eight months mainly in the field, fighting. Eight months in the field fighting? Fighting, yes. Wow. What, what was that like? What, in... That was like, uh, survival. We had been there so much. We had set up camp. We had our own chairs, our own desks, you know, and... You know, we were in that position so long that we had just got comfortable in that position. And one day, they called us, right? And they called out that position. And we went to War Zone C. That was Airborne Rangers and Special Forces fight, right? Yes. And there was so much fighting going on, we got there that night. And we had to dig in, right, that night. And we dug in, and I'll never forget, I was so tired that when I woke up, it was raining, I woke up that morning, the fossil was full of water like this here. The water was up to your uh, up, up to, to my chest. chest. I was stepping in the water all night long. I was oh just that tired. You were that tired, you slept yeah, in the water I all night long. I slept in that water in that foxhole all night long. And then I asked my captain, I said, Captain, where in the world are we at? He said, in the middle of Walls on Sea. Now, if you would go to Fayetteville, North Carolina, down to the Special Forces Museum, you will see Walls on Sea on there. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. in the field, bro. I wasn't in no base camp. I was in the field. You were in the field. I was field. out in the bush. You were in the bush? Yeah. And, and we seen so much stuff, man. Through it. I was under you. President Johnson. President Johnson. When I got back from Vietnam, I was, my unit got messed up and everything. The C, C company, A company got messed up, but we had already came back home, right? And some of them got messed up. I was looking at my mama TV, right? After I got back, a week ago, I got back that Wednesday, that Friday on the TV, they say A company and B company got overran in Vietnam. The ex President Johnson said, why do you put the blacks and Puerto Ricans on the front line? Right? So you, you know what he so said, wait a minute. You know what he said? Mm -hmm. He said, because they're some of the best damn soldiers we got. President Johnson said that on national news. President Lyndon B. Johnson said that on national news. My commander over there was General William Westmoreland. You can check that up on YouTube. He was over the thing. General William Westmoreland was my commander. 
Wow. So you say... And he had a Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor. Yeah. And he was airborne. Oh, my goodness. So, so you're saying that some of the, the Hispanics and the African Americans were some of the, the, the top The best notch. soldiers they had. Some of the best soldiers the they best, had. That was, that That's was, why they... When you ask them a question, they were questioning them on... I don't know what the program was. They said, why do you put the blacks and the Latinos or whatever, the Spanish people, on the line? He said, because they're some of the best damn soldiers we got. Now people don't know that. We fought with the soldiers. And now they want to tell us we ain't shit. We fought with the soldiers. The white boy and they do shit, they, they jumped and went to Canada. And the mama had money, the <laughs> dad had money, they hauled out to Canada, they ain't do shit. And if they wasn't in the military, they ain't do nothing no kind of way. Except military intelligence and some of some they sit behind a damn desk. But we bowled the, the brunt of the wall. If I'm alive, God can shut me stone dead. But then what? The president said on national TV, bro. Wow. Wait a minute, let me read this book. I'm gonna read him a poem here. That's that's very powerful. No, you ain't seen nothing yet. That's very powerful. Let me read this here. I, I, I went to Dunkin' Donut and somebody interviewed me over there and I told him that. They said they were going to put it on YouTube or whatever. But you see that picture there? Yes. Sir. With me and, and that green shirt. Uh, yes. Sir. That's on and, the internet. Okay. And I'm going to take a snapshot internet. of it uh, and put it in. Wow. That's and I the told him the same thing. That's how I was out treating everything. I didn't get about this one. No. This is... One that when I first my first poem when I read met over here at that building, right? It's called Images. You gotta be ready for this one? Oh, okay. Nice. Jet planes suddenly appear. They do not know death is near. How up in the sky today bombs are dropped. And they fly away. Blue, there's that sound. Fireballs rising high. Images are gone, days gone by. Why did it have to be? What if it was you or me? People running, people screaming. War was rough, but what's the meaning? Images, images, blue. Fireballs rising high. Now I sit and wonder why. So we lost the wall. So what all that happened? We lost the wall. We lost the wall. Vietnam still became communist. We lost about 6,000 men in Vietnam and they still became communists. So what we did that for? How you say it don't make you feel when you're a soldier? And the United States had trained them, the special force had trained them. They, their son was too scared to fight for their own country. We trained them. We had our special force to train them and everything. But when we got ready to pull out, they were too scared to fight for their own country. And they lost the war because they wouldn't fight. That tape will tell you the same thing. They will not fight for their own country. We trying to get them independence to make them a democratic nation. But when we got ready to pull out, right, and they didn't want to take over, they didn't want to fight. So we had to go back here, escalate the wall, get a whole, a whole, lot, of old, a whole lot of other people got killed. Try to liberate Vietnam. But all Vietnamese, a lot of it 
just really appreciate what we did. They appreciate, I got one, a kid from a, a social service, right? Look, girl, she's 23 years old. And I say, look, I say, like, this is my Vietnam hat, but I had my special forces hat in there. I said, well, this is my real hat. No, you say, thank you for fighting for my country. Now, I'm going to show you something. These are the medals I won in Vietnam. All my medals down there. They sent me that from Groton, Connecticut. And you go on the computer, they're going to hear the same thing. Go on any computer, type my name in there, they're going to hear the same thing. See the medals I won? Don't mean nothing when you don't get no respect when you can't come back. When you come back to the United States, you can't get no respect. The medals don't mean nothing. You come back. You go to stand up, it's freezing cold, wanna buy, buy your damn cup of coffee? 